Hello and welcome to Goma Tone. Today we're preparing um, London's favorite fish and chips. Okay, so usually ginagamit na mga hot dog or mga cod na mga fish. Uh, since we do not have that in uh, or halibut or we don't have that in the Philippines, but uh, you can use uh, lapu-lapu, you can use labahita. In my case, I'm using mahi-mahi because I like it. It's uh, when the mahi-mahi is cooked, it, it's soft and it's uh, flaky. No. Okay, so first, gawa tayo ng butter natin. Tatabi ko lang ito lahat. And just move this. Alright. There you go. So, we'll make our, we'll make our butter made of uh, flour. Okay, flour. And then, mamaya meron tayo sa dito. There, para kukot natin yung, yung fish natin before natin siya i dip sa batter. We'll put this on the side, and then we'll put a little of uh, cornstarch and baking powder. Why cornstarch? Kasi dito sa Pilipinas, it's very humid, no? so yung crispiness, kung mapapansin nyo, yung pagka-crispy ng french fries, yung pagka-crispy ng, uh, ng mga yung mga things with butter. Ang daling, ano, ang daling, ang daling malusaw because nga of the humidity. So what we'll do is we'll put in a little cornstarch para ma-retain niya yung, yung crispiness niya. And then natin, we'll put in about a tablespoon and a half. And then, to help it rise a little, put in a baking powder. That should be good. Okay, and then lagyan natin ng uh, salt and pepper. Put some salt for taste. Here. And then we put lots of pepper. You can put in a lot of pepper if you want. Walang problema yun. Kasi nasa bato naman siya. Bango, pag maraming pepper, oh. sarap ng smell, parang, parang berry. Mm, okay, so lots of pepper, there you go. And then, hanap pa tayo ng spice natin. Ah, you can put in a spice, ito to. May konting, hmm, may konting curry or garam masala, pwede rin, but sige, we'll, we'll, use, we'll use curry. So, ayan. Konti lang. Hindi magbibigay ng magandang color to. Plus, yung, yung beer natin. No, I'm, I'm, I'm choosing, uh, I'm choosing dark beer to give it some color. Ito yung beer natin. Woo! Lakas! Galing! Mm. So, mix this in your flour mixture. Yan lang, ganun lang. This is really the, the key sa paggawa ng fish and chips. No? Beer. Then mix mo lang. Okay. Okay. Mix it well. Iba nilalagyan lang ng, ng egg. Pwede naman. Para mas, uh, mas mag-hold pa siya. Maging crispy rin. But I think that should be enough. So let's mix it well. Yan. Nice. Okay. Para masyadong maraming flour dito, sayang naman. Lagi ko na iba dito. Yan. Kasi pang coating lang ito eh. Yeah, that, that should be enough for pang coating sa isda natin. I'll just hit it lang. Yan. Okay. And then let it rest for a while. Hmm. Mix it well. Tikman natin kung masarap yung batter natin. Hmm. Sarap. Tama yung saltiness niya. Tapos natitaste mo ng condiment. May hint of 
curry tapos yung heat ng ng pepper good okay tama na to at this point what we'll do while we're preparing this initin na natin yung oil natin and take note the heat doesn't have to be very hot no? tamang tamang heat lang medium heat lang and we'll put in lots of this we'll uh, deep fry it so I'm using two okay Okay, so while we are uh, heating up this oil, sasara ko na yan. And then... Lulutuin natin siya sa 180 degrees centigrade. Okay, so mamaya na yan. While it's heating up, what I'll do is... Uh, I'll... Uh, I'll prepare naman next yun ano natin, potato. Remember, I made the uh, French fries before. Pero yung fish and chips kasi, hindi naman parang French fries yung, yung pag-prepare na doon. Niluluto lang nila yung potatoes. Kasi nila niluluto yung fish. Okay, so I'm going to peel my potatoes now. So na, pipil natin yung potatoes natin. Pero ito, pag fry mo to, ayaw mo siya nakababad sa, sa tubig. You want to, to fry this na tuyo siya. Okay. And then, putuli natin siya into big pieces. I'll cut this in uh, malapad na apat lang. Malapad. Isa pa. Yung. So, ganun. Okay. And one more. Yun. Yun. And then, malaking pieces natin siya puputulin. Ha? Look, ha? Gusto ko malaking pieces, eh. Ito ang laki. The way I want my potatoes for, for the chips. Tapos, pag uh, pinutol mo yung, yung potatoes, you'll notice na very wet yung potato. So what you do, just get paper towels and then dry them. Ito yung lang siya. Tapos ko tayong lalagyan. So dry the potatoes. Gusto mo siya i-fry na, na tuyo. Habang ginagawa natin yan, umiinit na yung oil natin. Ito na matapos tayo dito, mainit na yung oil. So, yun, para may efficiency sa, no? sa pagluluto, you don't waste time. You're able to do a lot of things while, while you're cooking. And then, gagawa tayo ng, gagawa rin tayo ng ano natin, ng dip natin. You know, when you eat uh, fish and chips, may choice ka pwedeng, pwedeng mayonnaise or mayonnaise with, uh, with pickles, no? with pickle relish or or gherkins, tapos pwede rin na uh, malt vinegar. Since uh, wala tayong malt vinegar, meron ako dito, coconut vinegar, galing kay Ray Evangelista. Masarap talaga. This is the one I'm using. 
to substitute my main bolt bearing. Sarap. Oh. Aslum. Amoy pa lang maasim na. Okay. Okay. So after drying this, tatakpan ko na lang siya ng tissue paper para hindi siya mag-oxidize kasi pag nag-oxidize siya, iitim naman yung ano, potatoes natin. So I'll, I'll cover this with a uh, paper towel. Just like that. And then habang piniprepare natin yung fish natin. Okay. Let's see kung ano yung heat niya. Kano yung temperature niya. 160, mag 180 Good And then, we'll reduce the heat Yan, ganun Pagpasok niya ng 180 I-reduce natin siya sa low heat Beautiful, see That's 180 And then, susustain niya lang yung heat niya dyan At this point Ito na yung butter natin we we'll just uh, mix it again Nice. Okay, good. Okay, let's start uh, frying our our fish again. Before I do that, gusto ko rin na mas dry pa yung fish ko. Malabas yung moisture niya. Nice. Good. Okay. Good. We'll coat it. Manipis lang. Okay, just like that. Pagpag. Hmm. Yan. Kot na yan. Lubog natin dun. Nice. So, ganun yung gagawin sa isang, ano, sa isang fish natin. Ganun talaga yung pag-serve ng, ano, ng fish and chips. Malaking blocks na, ano. Malaking blocks ng isda. Ganun talaga, oh. Very popular talaga to sa, ano, sa, sa London. So, pag pumupunta ka dun, pag, lalo, pag first time mo mag- magiging turista sa London, hanap ka na, ano, magtandang mo sa, sa concierge, saan yung pinaka masarap na gumagawa ng fish and chips? Sasabihin lang, marami silang ituturo kasi maraming magaling gumawa ng, ng fish and chips doon. No? In fact, uh, at talagang, sabi na, itong fish and chips talaga nag-originate daw doon sa kanila. Yun! Yan. Dalawa. Yan. Nice. Okay, good. And then, sasabihin na natin yung pagluto ng ng potatoes. Ganun ang ginagawa ng uh, style, no? When when they when when you order uh, fish and chips, sinasabay nila yung pagluto ng ng patatas dun dun sa pagluto ng isda. Yan. So, yan din ang gagawin natin dito. 10 minutes lang yan. Okay. So while that's cooking, let me clean my table. Then tongs natin. Check it out. Then natin kung sa yung fish. <coughs> Ikot natin. Ikot ulit siya na ganun. Ganda. Solid. Tapos naluluto on the side yung ano. Naluluto on the side yung potatoes. Oh. Huh? And then while waiting, gawin natin, gawa tayo ng, ano, gawa tayo ng mayonnaise dip niya. Okay, so, gawa tayo ng pickles. So, pickle relish. Sweet pickle relish. Yan lang. Put it there. Para tangi yung, yung dip niya. Tapos lagyan natin ng mayonnaise. So, maraming klaseng mayonnaise ang pwede mong gamitin. Pero kung gagawin, gamitin ko, Japanese mayonnaise. Yan. Kasi, malasa na siya. May flavor na siya. Yan. Sagol lang. Yan lang, mixan natin ito mabuti. And then, that's it. Ito yung, ito yung para sa pandipping niya. And then, pe-prepare ko lang yung suka natin. I'll put it in a small platito. Hmm. Yun. 
Sino yung ano natin? Yung uh, elements natin para sa sa pagplating natin mamaya. Now, let's check our fish. Yung isa. Ikot naman natin. Yun. Sabila, ikot din natin. Ganda. Oh. Lalaki na isda na ito. So, another five minutes, then we're done. Return it. Ganda. So, even the batter, makita mo, medyo caramel yung color niya because of the because of the curry powder and the dark beer na nilagay natin. Importante kasi yung, yung beer sa, sa fish and chips because that's really the way it's cooked. Tapos yung effervescence niya coming from uh, the liquid of the, of the beer sa yung flavor ng beer using yung mga elements na ano bang ingredients ng beer? Malt, uh, hops, barley, mga grains, no? Yan. So, Dito na gagamit din, gamit na talaga yung, yung taste niya. Dito sa London, you know, in London, pagdating talaga ng hapon, parang automatic sa mga tao doon may happy hour. Nagsisimula sila ng mga alas 3 ng hapon hanggang mga 7 o'clock ng gabi. Ando lang sila sa, sa pub. No? Nakatayo lang sila, ilo mo lang sila, ilo man. Then paglasing na sila, they'll just go home. It's a way of life. They, 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 they do it practically every day after work. Mas maluto na itong fish natin. Okay na ito. So yung, yung chips natin, slowly nagkakaroon na rin siya ng color niya. Nagiging uh, uh, reddish na rin yung, yung uh, chips natin. Okay, two more minutes, then we're done with this. May mga lumulutang dito ng mga ano. May lumulutang dito ng mga yung butter niya. Ganda ito. Kunin mo siya na gano'n. And then, tanggalin natin yung oil niya. And then, tikman mo na yung butter. Mmm, crispy. Mmm. Pin it. Crispy and tasty. For almost there, one minute. One minute to go. We're done. Mmm. Should be good. Okay. Kunin natin yung fish natin. I-drain natin yung oil niya sa paper towel. Ayan. Ang gabis. Ganda. Ganda ng color niya. Para sa caramel brown. So, habang dinidrain natin yung oil niya, niluluto pa natin ng konti yung, yung chips na yung potatoes. And then, isaserve natin siya sa, sa plate. What I'll do now, I'm going to drain the oil by using paper towel. Yan. Serve natin ito dito. And then, yung dip natin. Put it here. Yan. Yan lang. The fish. Yan natin yung fish natin. Skin down. Yan. Dito. And then yung fries. Okay, hanguin na natin na ito. Ganda na. Tama na yung pagkaluto niya. Beautiful. And then, didrain natin sa, oh, sa paper. And so, habang dinidrain natin yung oil, sprinkle natin, lagyan siya ng, ng salt. Yun. Sakto. Good. Tatabi ko lang lahat ito. Then, serve natin yung potatoes natin, just like that. Bring it there. Mm. In it. Whew. And then, konti na lang. Mm. Pepper. Okay, good. There you go. Okay. Here is our fish and chips. Okay, let's try this. Chips muna. Yun yun. <laughs> Sarap. Mm. Chips. Mm -hmm. Try the fish. Nice. 
Ito din pagkaluto ng fish. Nice. See? Ganda dito. Maganda sa may ma. It's flaky. And then, i-dip natin siya sa vinegar. Just the way to eat it. Mmm! Alam nyo yung yung coconut vinegar for some reason parang malapit yung taste sa sa malt vinegar ha. Really, I'm not kidding. Malapit yung lasa niya. Kaya yeah, perfect na perfect. Ganda. I like it swimming in garden, in vinegar. Eh. Tapos itikman din natin siya using the mm, mm. kasi na mayonnaise naman. Tsaka yung Pickled relish natin. Mm. Sarap din. Di ba naman gusto nila? Lemon ng gamit. We'll try it with lemon. Open it. Yan. And then, lemon naman gamitin natin. Nakakainis naman to. Ang sarap. Gat alin ang gamit mo? Vinegar, pickled relish and mayonnaise, or lemon. Ang sarap. Talaga pag niluto mo sa Doña Elena Pure Olive Oil, the taste is so different and it's so good. Wow. Ang hirap mag goodbye sa inyo. Kasi kain na ako ng kain eh. Mmm. It's really good. Sarap. Hindi ko alam kung, kung paano ko sabihin na subukan nito because masarap. You know, to make it taste really good, make it olive oil, make it Doña Elena. So thank you so much for joining me right here in Guamato. Please like, subscribe, and uh, press on the notification bell para alam nyo kapag meron tayong bagong mga video na lalabas. And do not forget to comment. Alam nyo, binabasa ko yung mga comments nyo. Tapos once I read it, nilalagyan ko yun ng heart. Okay? So thank you so much and I'll see you again next time. Bye!